All right, everybody, how about some family-friendly Valentine's Day science for you? We're bringing in Jason Lindsay, also known as Mr. Science, his second appearance here on the show. He's a STEM educator, and love having you here, Jason, and also like the fact that when you do this, you're gathering stuff that either you have around the house or things that are easy enough to pick up at the grocery store or while you're going about your business. What are we starting with? <laughs> We're going to start with a Valentine's Day heart. Now, it's not my heart, but it's a heart that has my smelly breath on the inside. Have a question for you. Have you been doing some pretty cool science since our last segment, picking up items from around the house? Um, do you have a lie detector test uh, there? <laughs> um, I will have to tell you that doing science experiments at home is a little further down my to-do list. Um, I always just wait to do it here because it just brings such joy to the, to the office. Yeah, I, I could see answer? that. <laughs> Doing science with your colleagues. Who's your coolest colleague, yes. your most scientific colleague there at work? Um, Jenny, I changed out her hair color last week. I put a little extra <laughs> bleach in it. We wanted to see how that, you know, an umbre <laughs> looked. To, to, so she's like, it's what? It's working for me. Yeah, this we do not use Gorilla Glue for hairspray. Have you learned that doesn't work? I have not. Should I try that? But I heard that no. there was some who did, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So don't tr don't try that at home, Mr. Science. Do not try that at home. But we can try no, this. No. Okay, what are we going to do? Are we popping this thing or, or not? The goal is not to pop it. So everything is made up of small pieces. My balloon is made up of small pieces. And those small pieces are holding hands tightly because they're in love. And what they're going to do is they're going to hold hands tightly around a skewer. So this is all about matter. Anything that takes up space and has mass. Kids, remember, have an adult around, wear the appropriate safety gear, and don't eat or drink your science experiment. So let me get a little bit closer to the camera. Rod, I want to show you this. The balloon is darker at the bottom and darker at the top. Do you agree with that? Yes. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is go through the bottom where it's darker. Now, this doesn't always work the first time. And remember that, families, as you're doing science at home, that science doesn't always work the first time, the second time, or the third time. Now, be careful, Ron, because you might fall in love with science. But whatever you do, don't marry it. Got it? <laughs> okay. Could be a nasty divorce. There we go. Look at that. What do you think? Amazing. Amazing. So, yeah. so, so when you pierce the thicker parts of the balloon, you're at less risk uh -huh. of... Of, of tearing it apart, is that right? And then it just kind of seals itself? Yeah, exactly right. Those thicker parts, the hands are tighter, if you will, with those smaller pieces versus the thinner part of the balloon. Because if I go through the thinner part, it pops. Not right. good, right? Well, you literally yeah. could, I mean, I'm looking at that thinking you could kind of give somebody a Valentine's Day balloon or several on a skewer. It's kind of, kind of just a cool thing. You could, as, as maybe your better half, or if you really want to scare them when you don't like them, just pop the balloons next to them, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so the color-changing flower, um, you spray a love potion. Is this a secret mm -hmm. ingredient, this love potion? I don't know. Should I tell you? Should I trust Ron with the secret ingredient? I don't know. You know, good thing that you're there in Texas and I'm here in Kentucky, because if I was spraying this in the studio, you might fall in love with someone there. <laughs> <laughs> so I hear someone else laughing in the studio. Is that your colleague? Is that your better half? Who is that? No, no. This, Yeah, th those are both of my better uh, thirds. Um, Jenny and Yolanda. Yes. Yes, yes so you are. My better two thirds are over there. Uh, which one's oh, your favorite? Oh, we did it on cue. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're just ch checking the champagne for the next segment. You guys go I ahead. think we've already had some by the sounds of things. <laughs> okay, our flower here. Do you think my better half's gonna like this white flower? I, I think we're expecting red roses. Are we not? Right. So, you know, they may be like, hey, you got me a white flower. Boring. Well, I'll be like, well, what about, what about this? And then suddenly I spray this love potion on it and it turns pink. What in the world is going on? Look at that. Pretty cool. But awesome. the, liquid, the liquid is clear. What can, can you tell us what it is? I can tell you what it is. I guess I'll can share we guess? it with you. Can we guess? I think it's vinegar. It, you think it's vinegar? Yeah. Okay. What'd what you do you think, Yolanda? Bacon soda. She thinks baking it's baking soda, soda and water. Okay. How about the other one? Uh, to be honest with you, I was taking pictures of Yolanda and I over here. So, <laughs> what um, was in the clear spray? Maybe like potatoes or something. No. Potatoes. 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 Well, I know in a potato. So you try to discolor if 
if it like if it's <laughs> exposed to oxygen, I know that hydrogen peroxide. Something. Hydrogen peroxide. Okay, those are vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and something to Baking do with potatoes. Baking soda, salt. Baking soda. So what what is it? Ammonia. Oh, oh that was our next guess. <laughs> and it doesn't kill the flowers. Well, it's not a real flower. It's a fake one. But how did it turn it pink? Oh, well, because when you were not looking before the segment, I dipped this flower in something called phenothaline. You know that word, right? Well, that's just laying around the house. <laughs> yes. Phenothaline is an indicator. So basically, it indicates if something's an acid or a base. So in here, I have a base called ammonia. If I were to spray vinegar on there, it would stay white. So it's an indicator right there. So where so do we get this phenothaline? You... Where do we get that? Phenothaline. Say it with me, Ron. Phenothaline. You got it. Good job. Yes. Phenothaline is something actually a chemical that I wouldn't suggest kids using, but an adult, yeah, uh, you would probably need to check out a science supplier. Okay, so, so that yeah. is not around the house. You've you've sort of that let us. You've let, I mean, I, frankly, you've let I, us down there. All right, let's get. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's one you can do at home. You can take vin you can take water and food coloring and put a carnation in it. Yeah. And then over All time, right, the carnation that. will change color. So, ha! There you go. Ron. All right, you reverse course on that. Good, good, right, correct. All right, what are we doing with the exploding heart? Okay, now I know your heart explodes for science every day, right? So inside of here, there used to be candy, candy on the inside. I took the candy out and I replaced it with warm water and Alka-Seltzer. Now, those are ingredients you could get at your local department store, or for that matter, you may have lying around the house. I did add this um, curly thing to it. A chemical reaction is happening on the inside. It's bubbling. We got some science going on. Yo, good gravy! <laughs> See that? It just exploded. I have a potion going on here in my kitchen, and I'm okay. Parents are going to be so excited when they come, when the kids start yeah. doing that without their permission. Um, so that's 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 the that's the one disclaimer here, parents, is you want to be part of this whole process. It's a family thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Science. Thank you. So, are you ready for Valentine's Day? What are you getting your better half? You know, You're everything happens at home. I mean, I guess I'll cook something, and although that wouldn't be a surprise, I've been doing that a lot. <laughs> We're gonna order in. Surprise <laughs> delivery, delivery, delivery. That's what we'll do. <laughs> yeah. Have, have a good one there in Kentucky. Uh, Jason Lindsay is Mr. Science. You can go to hookedonscience.org. He's also on Facebook and Instagram. And really, it's remarkable what he comes up with. Again, most of it, aside from phenyl filter, is around the house.